so um, I just want to explain what this is. Um, what you're about to see is just me talking and, and explaining um, some of what happened during Rag Week and and I just want to say I'm not posting this because I think that I'm so cool and you should listen to me. I mean, what look at what is happening with my hair right now? I've got this big crazy beard and stuff. I'm not posting this because I want you to think I'm cool. I'm just letting you into my process. It's just tracking um, what God's been speaking. And, and part of that um, is actually the music. I'm going to put some music to it and you might think, oh, that's so lame. But it's just part of, of the expression of who I am I suppose and and prophetically I was hearing this music um, as God was speaking to us as we completed Rag Week and and the music is just significant to me. Uh, God usually often will speak to me when I'm watching a movie and, and, and this was significant that I was kept hearing this over and over. So um, just to explain that's what you're about to see. I thought I'd do this because I've been trying to write feedback from this week's Rag Week and I've spent hours on it but it's still not what I want it to be so I thought I'd, I'd just record and talk about some of what's going on because this week's Rag Week has been mind-blowing, has been massive and I've just slept for like 12 hours I'm still exhausted it's been amazing over the past 24 hours since we stopped since we completed I've cried a lot <laughs> not because I'm I'm so super emotional although I can be emotional not because I'm super tired, even though I am tired, but because I've seen God move, because I've seen God do stuff in the lives of people, and if I'm honest, I wasn't sure it would happen. I wasn't sure if, if I would see that happen, even if God had plans to shift things. It's just incredible. I feel so privileged to be part of what God's been doing at Nexus and what God's done during these few days of Rag Week. We have been on a on a journey, although might, you might think that's a cliche, actually we've been on a literal journey this time. And God's God's just been speaking and we've heard him and we've stepped into a place called obedience rather than listening to to what what we think humans are thinking we've preferred to act on what we hear god saying and that's been massive it's been incredible to see those people who are once defined by what they think other people are thinking it's incredible to see them shift into a place where actually they prefer what god says so when god said to us and now you're finished. We listened. On the morning when we all got up, and it was the day of us completing Rag Week, <clears throat> Dave and Kate had been up praying along with other leadership team. Kate, I know, was sitting up and watched the dawn broke on a day which was hugely significant and we all gathered together battle weary tired and Lauren explained to everyone and we finished we're done a hundred miles instead of 150 but we had completed everything that God had asked us to do if you haven't yet you need to watch um, Kate's address to everyone, kind of formal addressing and an explanation of of our finishing Rag Week 2015. You need to go and watch that. I'll put the link below if I ever post this. Um, this might just be for me. 
And um, as as Lauren explained, we finished. It was like this this peaceful calm descended on all of us sitting in that room. And there was this moment, it was like the end of a movie, like The Lord of the Rings, when warriors look at each other and there are no words. They just know that anyone else wouldn't really understand. But those people in that room looking at one another with a knowing smile. We've done this thing. We heard what God said when he said, start walking. And we heard when he said, and now stop. And we all stopped. The spiritual architecture of the world that we were in dramatically shifted as dawn broke on that day, things were different. From now on, things are different. Every time God speaks, that's the case. Every time God speaks, that happens. And now things are different. Now we prefer what, what God prefers. Now we prefer what he says over anything else. Facebook comments, statuses, all second, way down the list compared to what God says. What we think other people are thinking is now different. That, that technology, God broke something. It was painful but there was a shifting into, and now I'm on this track, which is preference to God's desires over what was expected originally. And that is massive. That's massive. I can't stress how incredible that is to see the change in people, to see the change in the students who were walking this, to see the change in the, in the staff who were, who were journeying and doing this thing too. Now I'm sure we'll be unpacking it for a long time to come, but I feel so privileged to have been part of the team that completed Rag Week 2015, even though it looked different. Even though we look back and think, I kind of wish that had been easy. Actually, I'm so glad it was hard. I'm so glad I wouldn't change any of it because God was using Rag Week as a vehicle for him to speak for him to shift things in our worlds. And now things are different. And tonight, we're gonna to get together and, and celebrate completing Rag Week 2015. So for everyone who supported me, who supported Nexus this year, thank you so much for giving us that opportunity. That opportunity to hear his voice and shift and develop within this week and for us to raise finance and money for the following students who aren't who aren't at Nexus yet, who maybe don't even know what Nexus is yet, we have um, uh, we've developed this ability for them to step into. We've developed this this ground for them to tread and for take possession of. So thank you. And I suppose I'll stop speaking now.